Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, shout out to my wonderful wife, Tracy. Not only is she beautiful, she's also talented, because right here, I have one of our shirts, Countdown to Football, right? See, th this actually makes me feel good. This makes me feel better than the countdown clock, because I haven't started that yet, but she's actually going to make me some red X's. We can X through February because that month's gone. We're already here on March, so it, it's it's kind of cool to have that. We're getting closer and closer. So we started something last week, point counterpoint with my man, primetime Brian. And let me bring Brian to the set. Brian, how are you doing tonight, man? It's kind of late here. I know the mailman's got to get up because no, neither yeah, rain, good, sleet, man. or snow is going to keep you time. from getting it. Okay? It's game time. It's I ga know you're tired. Did I say primetime? You did. Just look behind me, man. I got. I'm sorry, time, game though. time, game man. Time. You know, you, you know, I played special teams, man. I was the hot I, man. I had to, stuff. I had to bust the wedge, man. You know, I, I got brain damage. It's all good, man. And, yeah, I'm and, good, man. And, and and you know, I'm a cowboy fan, so you know that damages the brain too. <laughs> We've been through a lot of heartache, so yeah, I have some brain damage from it myself. All right, so well. so here's an interesting take. Are, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to roll, man. We just threw this together, and uh, okay. you know, we got some info, and Ladies it'll be and fun. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Okay, so the Dallas Cowboys seem to be uh, letting us know that they screwed the pooch when it came to wide receivers. They basically said, you know, we overvalued Jalen Tolbert. You think? You know, they saw, hey, you know, that third round pick, Jalen Tober, he's going to be great. And they yeah, overestimated yeah, Michael Gallup, Michael Gallup coming back from injury. And he didn't really come back well. And they undervalued Amari Cooper as a wide receiver. Now, we've heard rumors that teams have been in contact with the Texans about Brandon Cooks, Right. We've heard Correct. that DeAndre Hopkins can be had for a second-round pick, right? And then there is uh, the Diggs brother that we don't know if he's actually in the trade market or not. And then we got OBJ. And then there's Odell Beckham Jr., you know, uh, kind of a, a lighter version, light, light, lightweight version of Aaron Rodgers, a diva. He's a diva. But – Earlier today, while I was down in Waynesboro, Space Cowboy, shout out to Space Cowboy, Space. five hours ago tweeted this, per sources, the Dallas Cowboys are working on something big, word on the street that is, that is a trade for wide receiver and, is na and a name to keep an eye on is Amari Cooper of the Cleveland Browns. Brian? Is this I a good think, idea? I think this is a terrible idea. Absolutely. 100%. Oh, what, what, what? You, can, you cannot make this move. It's already hard enough to be a Cowboy fan, okay, these days. Let alone let a guy go and bring him back the, uh, the next year. Knowing us, we would give up a fourth round pick. Yeah, yeah, we would screw that up and not, you know. Oh, it, uh, it'll be more. You know, it would be more than a fourth round pick because well, they could we, they could get more than a fourth round pick to go to somebody else. Well, we we only got a fifth, so right. I understand that, but you know, yeah, it's kind of like a a, 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 a a draft day, the movie. Yeah, you, you know, oh, yeah, where they yeah, go yeah, through yeah, and yeah. yeah well, that was the old price. Now. now, but but wait a minute, hold it. Are you telling me that you would not bring him back? Now, now hold on. here's where you got to understand. You know, we're trying to do a business here, and it's nothing personal. It's just business. Do you realize that this year with <sighs> Jacoby Brissett and then Deshaun Watson, who talk about being overpaid? Talk about people that I can't believe they don't trash that guy. Mr. I'm guaranteed $230 million that screwed up the whole quarterback market. 
with those two guys throwing to him, he had 1,160 yards. Nine oh, TDs. Lord, I can't believe we're even talking about this. 14 Point nine yards per reception. Second highest yardage per reception of his career, only followed by two tenths of a yard so with what are Dak we giving Prescott. Up for him. So what are you giving up for him? Since you want him back, what are we giving up you, for you, him? I, I tell you what. See, here's you, you're gonna say I'm crazy. You're gonna give up a two, aren't you? I'm, listen, uh, what do we get with a four? We got Dak Prescott with a four. Okay. <laughs> right? What do we get with twos? We get Kevin Josephs, okay? Uh, yeah. We got Sam Williams, man. Come on. Okay, hold up. Hold up. No, no, Brian. Think about this though. Let's say hypothetically you did give up a number two for Amari Cooper to bring him back. Tell me what do you think that you could get? Do you think are you telling me you can get a better receiver than that? Yeah. Then hold oh, no, wait wait wait. You're telling me you can get a better receiver than that in the draft, the number two pick? No, I do not. I okay. absolutely do not, especially a receiver. So no, not in this draft. Absolutely not. All right. How about this then? Instead of okay, we we've heard that Hopkins would go I can't for a two. I'm saying this. Okay, but well, no, hold on. Hopkins, they say they would go for a two, possibly. Yes. You're telling me Hopkins. you take Hopkins over Amari Cooper? Yes. Yes. Just because of the oh. style of Dak Prescott, Hopkins' catch radius is off the chart. It hasn't we been the last that, two years. We know that Dak's accuracy isn't the best at times. He'll throw behind. He'll throw high. That's all. I mean, Hopkins will eat all that up. I mean, it, as far as I'm concerned, that's a perfect compliment. And I don't know that Hopkins is going to be in Dak's ear like him and Amari seem to be going back and forth. I don't know. Amari's going to make $20 million this year, and I think he's got $20 million the following year, and then he's a free agent in 2025. Hold up. Hold up. Do you understand that Amari Cooper almost had as many yards as Hopkins has had the last two years? I don't care. We got a number one in CD. So the CD flourished, you know, after Amari left. We bring Hopkins in to be that Dude. number two. It's a perfect, and he's making less money. He's only making nineteen this year. Oh, no, only nineteen. Oh, that's uh, nineteen compared to twenty, and then fourteen compared to twenty. Oh, Give me Hopkins. You know I want this. Hopkins has so got look. Hopkins him, is getting I'll old, man. He was he, he is getting old. He's getting Amari. old. But we're giving up a three, probably, maybe a conditional six. We won't have to give up a two for Hopkins. Again, we suck with number twos. If you can tell me that we have Amari Cooper back here for a number two, I'm okay with that. I couldn't deal with it, man. Where I live, I'll get roasted more than I already do. Just from my own health, I don't want Amari back. I don't I don't know that I believe that. But then, you know, and... You know, I bring up our boy DMV. He tweets out, I just want to kindly remind you, all the Cowboys front office, you know, considers signing their own guys back as making moves, which is 100% right. Mm -hmm. Something big well, might be a steel contract, which I'm on board with him. But well, wait a minute. The Hold combine, on. The Joneses the did say they're going to look offensive firepower. Yeah. Okay. Amari but but hold on. If you're saying signing your own guys, he was one of our guys. That's th th that'd be right up their alley. It's up their alley. All right. My lord. Okay. I can't believe this is happening. Only the Cowboys. All right. Ugh. How about okay? You know what? I'm gonna make you feel a little bit better. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna you know because. Are you not entertained? Are you not uh, we're entertained. Are you not entertained? I am entertained. I'm gonna throw a wrench at you now. Are, are you are you ready? Are you ready? No, no, no. I want you to listen to this one. All right, let's go. This is Brandon Marshall. Oh, Stephon Lord. Diggs will eventually join his brother in the Big D. Fact. Ooh, Dallas. Fact. Stephon Diggs. Before it's all said and done, bring it. Will be in I'm good. And they're gonna have That's what I want. Hey, what's the one's gonna have a big Birkin bag. 
Uh, and that's one. That's Trayvon Diggs. Oh, I th- Trayvon I Diggs. No, so no, no, no. Bad. Trayvon Diggs is going to have a nice. What is it called? Um, a go yard. He's yeah. going to have a big go yard bag. And I and I'm projecting that that's going to happen <laughs> sooner rather than later. And then also Stephon Diggs. I think he may be out in uh, some doing some fashion stuff with uh, Bottega. Is that what's called? Bottega Veneta. Mm. Say it again. <laughs> Bottega Veneta. That's going to be Bottega a big bag money in Dallas. Ah, I did that. I'm not saying this is going to happen over the next six months or so but over the next few years i definitely see a digs reunion okay so what does that mean man why are you teasing me you know I, I'm I just, look, because this is point counterpoint you know, already said that you know we, we could get you know amari cooper back and i'm saying you know no, i'd be okay with a number two you're like ah, i wouldn't even give up a number four for that you know but know. but i'll give up a number today. two for hopkins or a number three for hopkins so yeah. if we're gonna go ahead and drink, you know, we, listen, we just cowboy fans, okay? We can only fantasize about bringing people up in here because we know we got Jerry, Stephen Jones that just like to tease us. They like to tease us with some bullshit, okay? So if we're gonna shoot for the moon and dream, how about we go ahead and say, what about Stephon Diggs? Yeah. He he's a whole lot of money too. I'll take it. Don't, I don't care. He's got that attitude that I want. He shows up every game, not just here or there or Mm -hmm. he sits at the bench and plays you know chess by him you know you know with a teammate amari cooper he was good but amari cooper is not that guy i'm sorry now i mean as a number two i i wanted to keep him now that he's gone he could stay gone sorry that's that's ridiculous but i don't doubt that they're thinking about bringing him back i don't because what did i tell you mark he does nothing but catch First downs, and but I, I'm not doing it. I am not doing it, man. Okay, you know I, I'm gonna. Okay, I, I think this Trayvon this is Diggs has a better chance to go to Buffalo than us trading. Well, uh, you know I, I want to back up some here today. One. You know, as I was driving today or yesterday, listen to Skip. No, it was today coming back home because they had like a replay. Skip and you know they were talking about you know um, you know Mike McCarthy calling plays and things and they said well you know since Mike McCarthy is going to be calling plays I thought I think it should be for a guy he's called plays for before as in he should get Aaron Rodgers and and then of course you know they're saying well you know yeah, Dak Prescott you know he's a guy he, he said you know he, he's a guy you could win the, the the Super Bowl with if you have everything perfect for him and you know I'm going to go ahead and say. Derek Carr, didn't he have everything pretty much perfect for him? Derek Carr had arguably the best or that, that, the top that, the two tight ends. They didn't make he even had, the playoff. He, he didn't even make it through the season. He had he the had, rushing championship. Yeah, yeah, champion. Come on. The receiver uh, and, and, and Devontae Adams with like 1,600 yards. Yeah, Hunter Renfro. Uh, Hunter Renfro. Yeah. And um, damn, they're, they're – they're, uh, Darren Waller. Darren Waller. So Jacobs. that guy had everything right there, and, and he didn't even make the playoffs. And yeah. I'll give you another one. How about Josh Allen? Apparently, Josh Allen's got to have Josh everything Allen. extra perfect. Top three quarterback. Did you see that? What's that? I, I, so, well, so wait a minute. He's rated a, he's rated a top three, Mark. He has the same interceptions as Dak. Okay. Mm-hmm. He has the same everything as He Dak. had more fumbles than Dak. Dak. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, that, that's where I'm like, well, wait a minute. So, so it, it, are you telling me that, 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 that he can win the Super Bowl without having things perfect? Because he had things a lot more perfect than we did in Dallas. They went out and signed free agents. They went out and got guys like Von Miller. Right before we it went on tonight, I uh, was reading just briefly. I know we're on point counterpoint, but we'll bring, since you brought up Dak, uh, McCarthy did come out and say that um, he doesn't, He's not in – he doesn't care if he doesn't have the number one offense. Yeah. He was basically trying to say that Kellen was just looking at numbers and being in, you know, the number one offense. Mm-hmm. He wants to run – or no, he wants to pound the ball. Which, and, you know, I don't know if I can believe that, though, Brian. Um, well, yeah, let, let's back, Okay, so you're going to take that side. I'm, I'm going to counterpoint you here I for a second. It because that was the rift between him and Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers wanted to take – he wanted to throw the ball, throw the ball, and he didn't like yeah you know, McCarthy's play call. McCarthy, Aaron, listen, hey Aaron Rodgers, the Cowboys know, ran the ball that. more balanced, forty five percent running the ball, which is more than any season that Mike McCarthy has been a head coach. But you know that they did it not by 
it was basically the pass setting up the run. They did not run the ball good this year, the Cowboys. They because the they offensive really, line was hurt. Yeah, I and I agree with you, but um, you know, yeah, it's just a little tidbit, uh, you know. So I would say no to Amari Cooper, man. I I don't want to you know, go backwards. I don't. That you know, there's too many other options out there. Give me o, Odell Beckham. I need something new and shiny, man. That's like re, I mean, I mean that's like regifting the gift and giving it back to me again the next year under the Christmas tree. Okay. Now, I want something new. I want something different. All right. So I think I've found this is the tweet from Cowboys Due Diligence, and I don't know who they are. But this is where Space Cowboy has put on his channel. So let's listen to this real quick. Let's go ahead. Steven Jones did say from the Combine that they are working on something big. And Michael Gelkin said the same thing. Well, excuse me. Gelkin said it, and I think Steven was kind of talking about it as a possibility. But Michael Gelkin, who's very plugged into this team, we talked about him, Todd Archer, very plugged in. Yeah, a lot of talented writers, men and women here. But Gelkin, yep. I wonder if Gelkin off – you know, off to the side, got somebody to tell him, hey, they're working on a big, big deal. That's why I threw the Diggs name out there. Maybe one of these wide receivers or something like that, you know. But it's a very, that's it's a a very yeah, that's the case. A, and yeah. It's a very I'm interesting in, proposition. Man. Uh they they definitely uh I, I think are are motivated to make this football team better. Now, how they interpret that and how they interpret making the football team better may be different than how the fans would interpret it. But I think it's probably Odell Beckham. It's probably just I, Odell Beckham. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's Bobby Belt and Brian Broadus. Um, okay. Yeah, I would say I'm with them, but I just don't. You know what it is, Mark? I, they don't have the stones to trade away the number one pick anymore. I, I'm not stones. sure I want them to tra- trade away the number one pick because we we've done so good with that. I mean, we're talking about Micah Parsons. We're talking it's about odds, it's a number. I, I mean, no, Mark, huh? you're not going to hit every year, man. You're not. We've been pretty good at it. I know, but you're not. That's what I'm saying. It, it, we're not. I mean, Tyler Smith, C.D. Lamb, Micah Parsons, yeah. and all, and and this is a, a later pick than any of them. This is 26. You know, but that's so, that's where you go through and say, you know, we're going to draft the best guard. You no, know, if there's. There's no guard there worth it except Torrance, and he's probably going to be gone. But I don't know. We'll see. Like, we got the combine coming up. I'm going to stream with you. But uh, I would say uh, this, that uh, I don't believe Stephen Jones as far as I could throw him. Did mm-hmm. you see him yesterday? I no, was actually, I was working. I, I, I kind of got the cliff notes. Do you notes. know how old he is? Well, he's Jerry is like 82. Is. No. Stephen Jones is only 58 years old. Mm-hmm. 58. He's all white, going bald. He's, he's only wrinkles. a year He's only a year older than me. Look what money does he's, for you. <laughs> he's 58. No, that's that's lying and bullshitting your way through and being Mr. Cheapo. That's what that is. Cocaine yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> he looks horrible for his age. I'm sorry. And he's got that smug... And these guys don't have the stones to just look them right in the eye and go, the Eagles, the Niners. I mean, mm-hmm. just go on and on. I mean, Tampa. You do not match up against those teams in the playoffs. You got to hit home runs in the draft. Mm-hmm. Go out and get me a number one, and not Amari Cooper. Okay. Okay. I gave you, I gave you two names that I would be happy with. I'm out on Cooks. I'm not giving up a second for mm-hmm. Brandon Cooks. And they wanted a first either. before. Yeah, it ain't happening. So okay. either I I gave you three names and o, and OBJ is the third on the list. So you know. And Amari right. isn't on the list. Okay, so game time. Game time. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what the big move that the Cowboys are gonna make. And make sure to tell everybody where to find you. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could find me, Game Time Brian, on YouTube. I'm starting to put up more content myself. Mm-hmm. You'll find me uh, on Twitter, at Game Time Brian. Um, I'll be here. I'll be with you during the, uh, the, the combine. combine. Mm-hmm. And then I'm with uh, me and Primetime Phil. We'll have a show on his channel on Saturday night. So, 
All right. We're coming hot and heavy, man. That's hot the way it's supposed to be there, buddy. All right, good people. Make sure you follow my man, Game Time Brian. He's bringing it. You're taking care of business. He's getting the mail delivered, and he's bringing you the hot takes at noon, too. All right? I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, we can only dream what other teams actually do. And it's nice, at least at this time of year, to hear the Cowboys say we're working on something big and to dream about actually going out and doing something big. But actions speak louder than words. And I appreciate you guys. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?